Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the iPhone 5S. We just got this in. Here we're on the lock screen. You'll see this when you open your iPhone 5S up. If you go to the store, they might walk through part of this for you. The iPhone 5S comes in silver, gold, and space gray. And the telltale sign is this new home button which has a steel ring around it. So, to get started, just slide over and pick your language, your region, you can connect to a Wi-Fi network or you can use cellular network. We're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network just because it goes a little bit faster, but if you don't have one handy, that's fine. You can use the cellular network without any troubles as long as you have a good signal. So here it's going to activate our phone. Next up, we need to choose whether to enable or disable location services. Now, this is a personal choice, but we usually go with enable. This lets apps and the iOS 7 services know where you are, and you get a lot of benefits out of that. So, next thing you can do is choose how you're going to set up your iPhone. So, you can set up as a new iPhone, and if you do that, it's going to let you just walk through it. You can restore from an iCloud backup. So if you're backed up to iCloud, which some users can do for free, it all depends on how much storage they have, you can go with that. Or restore from iTunes. Restoring from iTunes will require you to plug into your computer. So if you have an iTunes backup, you won't be able to do that right away. You may want to just set up as a new phone, use it to get yourself through the day, and then do that when you get home. All depends on your schedule. So we'll go ahead and sign in with our Apple ID. If you forget your Apple ID, you can go to Apple and you can reset that. And it's important to have this because it allows you to do things like set up a Find My iPhone and it builds in a lot more security features. So now we need to accept our terms and conditions. You can scroll and read through all of those if you want to. Most people probably aren't going through all those thousands of words that just want to jump into their phone. You can use iCloud or don't use iCloud. iCloud handles your music, photos, it can do backups, but even if you're not backing up, there's benefits to using iCloud. Find my phone. When you turn this on, not only can you track down a lost or stolen phone, you can wipe it, you can sound an alert, say you just lost it around your house, you can make it make noise and it will help you find it. And now, new with iOS 7, if you have find my iPhone turned on and someone steals your phone, they're not going to be able to reset it and then resell it. So the next spot here, you choose your iMessage and FaceTime. We'll have those blurred out a little bit. And then hit next, we're going to go through our iCloud settings. And then you can set up Touch ID now or you can set it up later. We're actually going to show you how to set that up in a separate video. So we're going to choose Set Up Later. And then, now this is kind of new for the iPhone 5S. When you go through setup, it's going to prompt you to create a passcode, even if you probably didn't have one before. You can still click don't add a passcode, but if you want to, and we recommend doing this because you keep a lot of personal information on your phone, go ahead and set one up. Don't do something real simple like this. See here it says even I shouldn't use that code because it is too common. So we're just going to skip this now, even though they really want you to do this. And it's a good idea. Next up, choose if you want to use Siri or not. We'll use Siri. And then you can say if you want to send diagnostics. Personal choice. We click go ahead and send that. And now we're to the point where we are ready to get started with the iPhone. And here we have iOS 7. And we're in and ready to use the iPhone. Head over to GotToBeMobile.com, check out our best iPhone 5S cases. We'll soon have some accessories up there and a bunch of iOS 7 hidden features and secrets. Thanks again for watching. This is Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com.